Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about the genetic development of true hermaphrodism, also known as true gonadal intersex. So this genetic condition is characterized by individuals that have both ovarian and testicular tissue. The condition causes the development of one gonad into a testy and another gonad into an ovary. Um, also seen in some patients is the development of an ovotesty, which is a gonad that contains both ovarian and testicular tissue. So some, what are the symptoms of this condition? Um, as of today, there are no known symptoms of it. But what we do know are characteristics. What we see in these patients are ambiguous external genitalia. Um, typically, in most cases, what we see is during birth, um, we see external female genitalia, and during puberty is when we see the development of um, the penis as well as the closing of the false vagina. Um, so what exactly causes this genetic disorder? And what researchers initially looked into was the development and the mutation in the gene of SRY. So SRY gene encodes for something called the testes determining factor. It triggers testicular differentiation. Um, <clears throat> what we do know about this gene is the initial function, um, but we don't know the specific targets um, in the cellular processes. All we know is that it does target specific cell cellular processes that lead to the development of the testes cord um, formation, as well as increased gonadal size that we see in male sexual development. Um, <clears throat> but as researchers looked more in depth, what they saw is that 66% of cases um, had uh, gene patients had a genotype of XX, and only 10% of those showed um, the SRY gene that had been translocated from a Y chromosome onto an X chromosome. The other 90% of um, cases that they saw, researchers suspected that there's mutations in some sort of X-linked sexual development genes. Um, in some cases, they found mutations in the following, SOX9, which is essential for sexual determination, um, RSP01, which is essential for targeting another gene in female sexual development, as well as a mutation in NR, uh, A5, which regulates um, certain processes for female sexual development. In about 33% of the cases, we see patients that have both uh, the genotype XX as well as XY. This is known as a phenomenon of mosaicism. Um, researchers characterize people that have this genetic mosaic as individuals who have two sets of populations with two different genotypes. We see in one population, they, these patients have a genotype of XX, as well as the other population that have a genotype of XY. And this can be caused for a number of reasons. Um, a few are listed here. One is double fertilization, where two sperm fertilize one egg. Um, the next is different embryos that have individually been fertilized fused together during development. And the last is when two individual sperm fertilize either a pol both a polar body and an egg, and those fuse during development. The last percentage, 7% of patients, have been shown to have a genotype of XY. Researchers suspect that there are mutations in essential male um, sexual differentiation genes, and there are mutations that are found in those. Some cases have been found in mutations in the DMRT1 gene, which is essential for a protein that is essential for the development of testicular cord and the Sertoli cells. The next is a mutation that SRY gene we discussed is essential for testicular development. And the last is a mutation in the MAP3 kinase 1, which is essential for regulating sexual differentiation pathways. So each have a different and rare event that lead <clears throat> to the ultimate cause of the displayed disease of true hermaphrodism. But today, the cause is still unknown as to why this is happening and how this disease develops. So please tune in to my next video for more information.